So there is an invincibility glitch for Cyberpunk, basically allowing you to do what you want in the game and you cannot be killed. The glitch itself has been around for a while. The only problem with it is, with this glitch, once you use it, you can't turn it off. So if you ever did want to continue to play the game as normal, that wouldn't be possible. Well actually guys, there is a way and today I bring you this method for those that don't know how to do this, how to become invincible, but also guys, a way to turn that invincibility off. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so the invincibility glitch is like I said an older glitch many thousands of people have used. The issue with it is once it's on you can't turn it off unless you've created a save file previous to doing the glitch. So if you made any progress with that invincibility glitch active, that progress will be lost reverting the glitch. Now I know many people wanted to use this glitch to farm XP and get max level before playing and finishing the story and side missions. This is actually perfect for doing that if you want to continue on playing the game with that invincibility off. Ok so firstly for those that don't know, how to become invincible. Ok so as you progress through the early stages of this game you'll eventually get a message from a guy called Ozap or a call I can't remember. He's basically a clown dude with a grenade as a nose. It's within this mission this glitch activates. So the mission which you may already have is called sending the clowns, just check your journal, it is a side mission obviously. Start the mission up and then you are instructed to pick Ozab up, so continue on and do that. Once you've picked him up you then have to take him elsewhere, this is where you activate this glitch. So when you are near that drop off destination you need to run civilians over and get the police attention, get yourself 4 stars. But you want to do this right near where that drop off point is so you don't lose that police interest when dropping Ozob off. So with that police attention go ahead and drop Ozob off. Now from here what you want to do is keep spamming that exit vehicle button. As soon as Ozob enters that building you should be able to exit the vehicle. From here you are invincible but you need to fail the mission in order to keep the invincibility. So once you exit that vehicle run as quickly as you can away from this area in any direction. When you get far enough away Ozob will message you and you've basically failed the mission. And from here guys you are invincible to carry on playing the game how you please, you cannot die, literally. I mean you can go past the uh, Night City border patrol but there's an instant death barrier there anyway so that will kill you and you just have to reload a last checkpoint but you can swim forever, you can't die underwater, you have no falling damage, you literally can't die. Now as I did say earlier you are stuck with this and it was fought for a long long while that you couldn't turn this off. Well actually guys you can, I don't know how many people know about this but you can turn it off, I found a way. So if you have got to the point where this invincibility is making the game boring for you or you just want to play and continue on as normal, this is what you need to do. You need to complete Clarissal's racing missions, but do a specific thing at the end of these missions. So Claire's missions are called The Beast in Me and it's a 4 part racing mission where you do 3 qualifying matches and then the main race at the end. Now you first meet Claire within the afterlife club within Watson I do believe but I can't remember if you have to speak to her here to be able to do these missions first. But you may have to so head into Watson and go into the afterlife bar. She's a bartender there so have a chat with her. Now the mission of Beast in me starts off at Claire's garage as you can see on screen now. So head here and talk to her. The first three qualifying races are not important. What is important is that last mission where it's planned out to get revenge on another racer. The important part and must do thing here within this race, this last race, is you have to select to be the driver of the vehicle. Claire must kill the dude she wants revenge on. So you must drive the car and she must ride shotgun. Yep, but listen. This will be highway driving, so we'll want a machine that runs on lightning. Your choice, your rig or my beast. Let's go with mine. Got a better feel for it. Then it's as simple as following the car, this dude's driving throughout the race as close as possible and she eventually gets what she wants. When the mission is over go back to her garage with her, so she's the driver of the car, you get in her car and you go back to her garage. This is what I did to a T and you'll see it on screen now. And there you have it guys, the invincibility will now be removed. 
What I will say is make a save point before starting this last race just in case. But yes, if you do this correctly, it's pretty straightforward. That invincibility will be turned off. And guys, I hope this video helped you out. And on that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Pretty down. I'm not. To be honest, I don't think I feel anything. Any desire to do it again? Team up for a race. I mean. No, V. In fact, not gonna race ever again. Ever. Ever. That was something we had. Something Dean and I shared. I just needed you to get Samson. yours. What? Uh, you're giving me a rig? It's not mine. It belonged to me and Dean. But since we are no more... Take care, V. And watch those turns and you'll end up wrapped around a lamppost. <laughs>